We're not any plumber of the Joes here, but we're all Joes. We're GI Joes. Yeah. Yeah. And it reminded me that this nation was founded upon the principle that when in the course of human events, the people's grievances are no longer heard, that we have a God-given duty to alter, amend, or abolish our system of government and to install a new system of government. And I remind you of the words of John Adams, who said 13 days before signing the Declaration of Independence in Philadelphia, an American patriot, a founding father, our second president. But it doesn't matter how many times we change our government or our rulers. Without ethics, morality, and religion, we'll have no lasting liberty. Yesterday, I took the time with a colleague to go to Mount Vernon, where George Washington is. I saw the riches that were there. A tremendous estate, beautiful. George Washington, like all of the founding fathers, had a lot to lose by declaring independence and declaring war on the British. They pledged their fortunes, I'm all with their sacred honor, and their lives to the birth of a new nation. We have to honor them. They would be turning in their graves with the veterans today, our fallen veterans, to know where he comes. How far we've come in 237 years. In 237 years, our country yeah. has fallen, has declined faster than it took Rome 2,000 years to do. And we are now ruled by a president who bows down to Allah. <laughs> Whose rules of engagement for our veterans don't allow us to defend ourselves properly. Who are dying per capita in greater numbers in Afghanistan than ever died in any American war. And I know because I represent some of the families. And I feel personally involved. This president is not a president. Of he gave us a crock salute at Fort Hood. He to be the president of all of us. That's what he said he was going to be. He's to stand here with the veterans. They're not happy. He used to be here today. Showed up at 8.30. I thank you all for coming here. I thank you for your patience. This is the first step. I do not advocate violent revolution, to the contrary, in the style of Mahatma Gandhi, in the style of Lech Walesa in Poland who brought down communism, in the style of Martin Luther King, who stood up there many years ago and declared freedom. I call upon all of you to wage a second American nonviolent revolution, to use civil disobedience, and to demand that this president leave town. Thank you, God bless. Amen. Amen. 